Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to talk a little bit about tuning and in follow. For standard ragdoll and in follow comes decently tuned, so you can just drag and drop the and in follow onto the ragdoll and assign the master. And it will work right away. But you can set the strength of the ragdoll in the inspector or in code. So these are public variables. And these are the strengths, the proportional strengths. Uh, no, these are the ones. P torque, P local torque, and P force. And if these are set to high, the model will become unstable and it will look like this. So don't set them too high, set them strong so that they follow the master closely, but don't set them too strong. And you can also set per limb uh, strength. And these are the profiles. And these are for all the limbs with rigid bodies and colliders. And you can see which limb is which. Because they are auto assigned when you start the program. So these limbs that can be seen in slave rigid transforms. The first element, element zero, is uh, hips. The second one, the element one, is left up leg. So if I set element one, which is the left up leg, to high, the left up leg will become unstable. And I can also use this to disable limbs and make, uh, make limb weak or limp. So if I set these to zero, and also the force for the left leg to zero. That leg has no strength, it has zero strength. You see I have applied torque, no local torque and force. And these are set to zero. So now the left leg is limp. It has no strength. It's silly work. And so for your model. Tune the profiles to make your model um, follow the master in the way you, you want. And uh, if you don't have a standard ragdoll, you're sure to have to do some tuning in these. You can see which limbs are auto assigned to which in the slave rigid transforms. Thank you for watching.